Welcome to the Digital Marketing Insights Podcast, brought to you by Brightside Digital. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm delighted to say we have Killian today, who's a freelance copywriter and content creator. Killian, how are you doing? I'm not too bad, Tom. How are you keeping yourself? Yeah, Thanks so much for having me on the show. No, you're more than welcome. And yeah, thank you for asking. Um, Killian, let's start off by you telling everyone a little bit about yourself and your career today. Okay, so basically, I started off in uh, Maynooth University in Kildare in Ireland. I um, did media and marketing, so very obviously applicable to what I'm doing now. I um, I spent the majority of my free time outside hiking in the outdoors. So from that, while I was in college, I created some sort of a travel hiking page and called the Kilo Hikes. Just some little small project for myself to keep track of what I was doing, where I was going, what I loved doing really. Um, so kind of obviously with the whole COVID lockdown thing, there was this massive push on being outdoors and people getting outside and doing all these wholesome activities. So all of a sudden I started to gain traction on those pages and I was like, okay, maybe there's something, there's something in this. So kind of pursued it while I was in my final year of college, uh, came out of college, got a job, part-time job with um, an outdoors company, a great outdoor magazine in Ireland called Outsider.ie. Um, so worked with them alongside doing my own kilo hikes and from there kind of grew and started working for myself. Love it. Yeah. So let's talk kilo hikes for a second. So this is more your content created side. You have, you know, yeah. almost 20,000 TikTok followers, big, uh, following on Instagram as well. Like, uh, tell me how you've been optimizing those and how, how you're going about creating that content at the moment. It's um, at, at, in the beginning, it was just whatever I saw, I kind of took a picture of quick video, like it was nothing specialized. But as I realized the potential, it was I was doing research in video editing. Um, I do a lot of my video editing on my phone through CapCut and likes that. And um, it's actually like it's similar enough to Adobe, but free and on your phone. So very accessible. So I moved yeah. into doing it. <laughs> so I moved into doing that side of things, which um I also like, I actually fell in love with doing it. And then um, from that, like I was seeing other Irish content creators getting outdoors, doing like these little bits. And I was like, you know, I can, I can keep doing this. And I kind of honed in on the hiking and from that kind of like their little branch offs, like I spread to um, sea swimming for a while. I'm currently doing a lot of running, talking a little bit about my running online, but not too much. So it's kind of, for me, the content creation side of things has turned into promoting myself as the brand and um, I do occasional like social gatherings where I'll get a group of people together we'll all go on a hike together like and you wouldn't know these people like you just put a call out on Instagram uh, be like how are you getting on I'm going up this mountain on this day if anyone's interested I'll make a little group chat we'll go for coffee afterwards we'll all like it's a great way to get to know like-minded people so it's real, there's yeah. a real nice community around it and people appreciate that and are really starting to jump on it in, um, in my locality anyway. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting that side of, of content and how you're, you're, you're almost creating a community for yourself on, mm. on those areas and the network. And it's, it's, it's such a good thing to do. Um, in terms of, before we move on to your kind of more copywriting, have you been approached by any brands as a result of your work in Ireland at the moment? Has, has anyone approached you from a hiking point of view? Um, I do get a lot of, I get a lot of companies approaching me offering like free products in return for creating content. I generally say no. I kind of, I'm like, if I really, really like the product, I've worked with the likes of Nuason, which are like a sustainable organic um uh, muscular active recovery gel and uh, biodegradable wipes and stuff like that which is stuff I actually use so I was like you know I'll work with you for a while but the majority of companies who approach me are looking for me to promote their products which I don't necessarily do not for my own page but I will then in turn offer to create content for their pages and um, I'm trying to think now have now most of the time I will approach people through my Instagram and be like I have this sort of following this is what I do for myself I can do it for you is the way I use my Instagram to generate kind of business 
Really interesting. Yeah. And and so nice to hear you outreaching on brands that you admire or you would want to work with. Mm. Um, into your copywriting, can you tell me any areas where you're, you've found yourself to be really successful or really proud of your work in that space? Um, so for copywriting for me, I've done... I've done two sides of it. I've done copywriting solely for SEO, which is for different companies around the place where my name obviously isn't associated with it. It's just for the company, be like their landing pages, their product pages, um, their services. I've done copywriting for all those types of web pages, which is fantastic. It's a great way to get income in the background. But I think where my passion truly lies is in travel writing. So I do um, with Outsider.ie when I was working with them, it was all like Irish content, the occasional trip abroad. Uh, we'd be right. We'd have to go on like five day press trip sort of thing and then write about it afterwards. So it was a real, like it was a real engaging way of content and you'd have to, you would do the copywriting online for their website. And then you'd move on to, you'd have to interlink it with the content on their Instagram, their TikTok, their Facebook. So everything was intertwined and just driving uh, traffic towards their website. And um, in recent times now I've done, I've set up my own website to uh, start a kind of blog for myself. And again, that's more of a, that's a passion that I'm just doing for myself. It's not, there's no income involved in that yet, but we'll see maybe in the future. And I've also yeah. recently got the opportunity to work with uh, Lonely Planet and write a couple of articles for them for, um, for their Irish website, which is like, that's, if it doesn't feel real sort of thing. Yeah, that's brilliant. And yeah, I cannot wait for those pieces to come out because I definitely want to check them out. Um, obviously you've done all this work, uh, you've already mentioned CapCut, but is there any particular softwares you use daily that enhance your work? Maybe the outreaching side of things and things like that? Um, not too much in a sense that a lot, like if I'm looking for clients, it's a lot of word of mouth or me just reaching out over LinkedIn or Instagram and social medias like that. And when it comes to creating content, if I'm doing stills and imagery like that, or if I'm making kind of a portfolio for myself, I'll do it through Cat or not CapCut, sorry, Canva. Like I just find, I think Canva is a fantastic tool. It's worth the tenner a month. It's just like, it's very quick and efficient, especially in this industry uh, when everything you present has to be kind of creative. So like you're trying to incorporate as much of what you've done into a smaller space as possible. So it's just like copywriting section, uh, then you have your kind of content creation section, or you can split up the two depending on the company you're looking to market for. Um, and that is like, that's something I use probably daily. Wow. And in terms of finding new insights or learning more about your particular areas, is there any go-to websites or sources you, you learn a lot of your information from? I do a lot of learning from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, like as a whole, I will kind of like, I'll scroll through, like I'll sit down, I will shamefully say I'll scroll through TikTok for an hour, listening to the songs they keep repeating, uh, seeing what's repeating, seeing the trends they're repeating and try and generate this idea for myself. And um, if I can't, I will just research it and hope for the best. And um, if I'm looking to learn new skills about SEO and copyright inside of things, I often use Udemy. I'd go on, I'd pay a tenner for a course, go through a course in a week and just like learn that way if I'm feeling I'm struggling in a certain area. And um, which is how like I had to learn initially because when I went into Outsider, I had no copyright knowledge at all. It was, um, they taught me everything I know from it basically, which was a fantastic yeah. place to land. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they clearly train their, their members really well as well. So fair play to them. Yeah. Um, the digital industry as a whole, is there anything that really excites you that might be coming in the future? Or you can apply that to your kind of your travel or hiking kind of areas as well. Is there anything that you think is going to really impact? Um, I think there's kind of a new wave of content generation coming in. Like it's for so long, there was like still images of like people smiling with the products that they are bringing in. But it's really starting to change to this like kind of organic real content people have to be honest and upfront there's um people want to see this emotion this connection with the people who are promoting these products it's no longer just like this is a product i use like look at this um there has to be reasoning behind it they have to see it in action people are becoming more aware of how easy it is to fake enjoying a product online so you have to be really 
I think there has to be a genuine element to your content nowadays. And I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where that goes. We agree. And uh, lastly, Killian, we always ask the same question to end the show, which is if you could bottle up one personality trait yourself that you have that you could pass on to others, what would it be? I'm going to go against the curve here because a lot of people are like, oh, my determination, my like, oh, my passion, my this, that, and the other. But I'm going to go with like how relaxed I am about my approach to my work. Like, because working, working for myself, working freelance, you can really get bogged down and like, oh no, I've so like, I don't have enough clients this month. Like what, like you can get really caught up in yourself and like end up focusing on work 24 seven. So I like to think that like, if you take a relaxed attitude, you don't, you have to really be capable of not worrying because you're not working for anyone. There's no, like, there's no actual, like you finish at five, you finish at six. That's that. Like you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like you have to work really hard at not bringing work home with you, especially because work is at home. Like work is kind of 24 seven, but also not because you're doing what you love. So if you're not, if you're not relaxed with it, you'll start to resent doing what you love. And then if you start resenting doing what you love, you're resenting work, you're resenting your passion, your hobby, your pastimes. So yeah, I think if you could bottle up just relaxation, take time for yourself and just don't worry too much about not having too many clients one month or having too many the next month. It kind of, it does really help. It does stand to you. Yeah. I really like that approach. And yeah, really well said. Killian, that's it. If people want to reach out to you, how can they get in touch? Um, I am Kilo Hikes across the board on Instagram, TikTok, my website, Kilo Hikes. Um, or if you want to find me on LinkedIn, it's Killian Anderson. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's probably the easiest way to find me. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I, I'm going to definitely do one of your hikes that you recommend and, and follow the curves. So yeah, keep up the good work and thank you for being part of the show. Thanks thank so much you. for having me on.